Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne and welcome back to another episode of Blue Crypto. So since the recent stat balance changes to troops and some structures, it's definitely been a lot harder to three star. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, what are you guys doing in BOG? Or have the strategies changed? How are you approaching bases? I'm definitely having a lot harder time. So I wanted to make this video and kind of go through some of the things that are really helping me uh, and what I've heard from some of our other guys in BOG really secure that three star. So there's quite a bit I want to cover here. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I want to play. Okay, so now that we're in game, there's definitely something that I think is very foundational, but it's important that I mention it. You need to have your troops maxed out if you're using them in any army. If you have even one or two troops not leveled, and you would think, oh, maybe phages don't matter, or ranges, you know, rangers I can get away with not having leveled up, or helicopters. No, you, you definitely need to have your troops max in order to be able to contest max bases, but even some bases that don't necessarily have everything maxed. Then of course it goes without saying, your heroes, and the heroes are actually what's making a massive difference right now and clutching those three stars at the end. You'll notice of course, the further you get your warlord ahead, you know, getting that ability unlocked at level 10 is massive. But of course, the more you get him leveled up, you're going to notice these attacks get a little bit easier as you go. Now, the strategies that I want to show you guys today are pretty much the same as what was viable in the meta before, but how you approach the base has changed a little bit. So let's just jump in here. And actually, before I do this, there's one thing I want to mention. So before I used to be able to log in once every hour, right? When I was doing air attacks, I'd let both my armies train. I jump in once an hour, I do my back-to-back -back attacks because I didn't really need my heroes. The big change I've noticed now is really I need to be coming on every 30, 40 minutes doing my individual attacks because I need my heroes with me to really clutch those three stars, especially when it comes to air. So you'll kind of see with this attack, I'm not going to succeed with air. I have to follow up with heroes. Now, generally, you do want to look for bases that are a little easier to attack with air. When you see all the rocket towers and the air defenses in the middle, that's generally a no-go. But because this box was a per base was designed like a perfect box, I knew it was going to work well for the air and the skyfires to kind of move in. So that's why I attacked it anyways. We can see the anti-air and the rocket towers are all leveled up. But with the heroes, make sure you're deploying them at the end of your attack, not during your air attack. Because what will happen is if you drop the heroes while your whales and skyfires are coming in, the enemy mirror will get pulled out, the skyfires will pull away, and they need to be eating through the base. So it can actually uh, ruin an attack if you, do, if you do that. So I always wait for the end, then I drop the heroes, you'll get the enemy mirror pulled, and then of course they just have to fight. And then really, we're just going to use the heroes to clear the remainder of the base. Now, the reason I dropped them at the top was because that motor is really the only thing uh, that's going to cause them any grief. So we'll just kind of speed up here. And definitely take your time looking for bases that'll be a little bit easier with air, because generally you're only going to get the one star. But having the heroes is really making the big difference right now. Uh, I still use, you know, 16 whales. Uh, the rest Skyfires. I do know some people like Dark Mavian. He's been mixing in like two blazes, for example, uh, at the end to kind of help support the heroes, which I thought was kind of clever as well. But you can see here, it's really the heroes that clutch this. They got the remaining two stars for me, not my air attack. So air is definitely still viable, but you really need the support of your heroes now. And then just taking a look at the other one, it's very similar to this. It's the same strategy that I posted a little bit ago. I have made some variations. It's the helicopter blaze, but I do use 10 strikers now just to kind of help clear some of the trash. And I reduced the blazes down to 32. Now this one, the heroes are a little less important. I have noticed I have been able to secure a three star without it, but they just make such a big difference in every attack that I'm not willing to take that risk. So same thing with the air, I'm finding I need to log in, you know, do one attack with the heroes, always make sure that the heroes are up. So we're just coming in on these bottom sides here, because <clears throat> I was a little worried about traps, but I do split the heroes with this. So when I'm doing two entries with the blazes and helicopters, I'll generally get the mirror and almost always actually get the mirror 
and then the warlord to kind of support those two separate groups but they just get stuck on trash and kind of hang back one thing i do like about that is sometimes you can actually get through the attack and they take very little to no damage so you can maybe move into that second attack you've already got queued but just be prepared to let your your heroes heal just in case so these are the two main strategies that are working the best for me the blaze helicopter and then the air but really, like I said, the main difference is the having that hero support. And of course, getting your Warlord leveled up makes a world of difference. Just make sure your troops are maxed when you're using them in an attack strategy. That's kind of why I like air. You only have to have the whales and skyfires max. It's a little easier. You know, with this strategy, there's obviously a lot more troops being used. But even me using like four phages, I wanted to make sure those phages were upgraded because they're in my army. So this is really the best way that I've found now. And the biggest change is just going from two attacks every hour to every single half an hour to make sure that you guys have your heroes help you out. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks so much for being subscribed to the channel. It really makes a big difference. Do me a favor and smash that like button and we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.